Hello all, doing man 97 here, and this is uh, part one of probably quite a few of the uh, NBZ tutorials that you will be seeing uh, roughly once or twice a week as I make them, and it's going to go over every single thing that I can possibly think of in NBZ. So yeah, let's start with the uh, engine signs, because without them your ship is not going anywhere. Alright, so there's basically three simple things to look at when you're using engine signs and placing them on your builds. You've got three lines here. Engine, which you're basically just going to write engine. And then you've got your engine number. So if this is the first engine sign that you're putting down on your boat, aircraft, tank, whatever it is, you're just going to start with one. The second sign you put down is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to however many engines you need. But you probably won't need more than I'd say six if you're using something really massive like a ship five submarine and you're not using a nuclear so we'll go over what each of the engines are used for with all of these signs here now if at any time you're in NBZ and you can't remember what a sign looks like uh, come back to uh, shipyard MVS and basically if you're in the shipyard you know just type MVS and you'll come here and turn around and all of the tutorials are right here for you and they've been here for a long time. So yeah, let's start with our uh, ship and sub engines. So engine one, gasoline one, basically costs 50 bucks per sign, and it's just got a nice weak power of about 500 and a speed of 10. So on your helm sign, uh, let me make one of those helm signs. Uh, helm, and it will look like, oh geez, it's been a while since I've seen a helm sign. Alright, we'll come back to that later. Um, basically, holy crud, Food Finder. No. Holy crud. Alright, so, your power of 500, and it costs about 50 bucks a piece. So, on like a small ship one, a gas one, maybe two or three of those will uh, work quite well. Next is gas two, which is my personal favorite motor. It's got a speed of 12, which is the highest speed that anything uh, not nuclear will give you right there. Um, however, it doesn't have a lot of power, which is okay, because you can get those from boilers, which you'll see in a minute. And those are about 100 bucks a piece. And one or two of those on a small ship one, uh, unless it's lined with endstone, are uh, going to be plenty for you. Next are the diesels. Uh, diesel 1, 2, and 3, they all work underwater, which is awesome, whereas your gasolines don't work underwater. And uh, basically when your uh, subdrive is set to dive, it'll say on this fourth line electric, and you'll know that it's working underwater. And it works at about half speed underwater and at full speed on the surface. So yeah, you've got speed 6, a little bit more power. So granted, you give up the speed for it to work underwater, which is okay. Uh, the next one, engine two, or engine one diesel two, just the upgrade of the diesel engine gives you a little bit more power and just a little bit more speed there, but granted there's a price difference. And the diesel three, we've got speed 10 uh, and quite a bit of power, but granted it's a little bit expensive. So yeah, the uh, Baleo submarine uses those, and uh, I'd say for a ship five, if it's like a big nuclear submarine or something like that, four of those uh, will move uh, mountains and you will be just fine because that's 10,000 uh, units, whatever our unit is in this game for power and that'll do more than you need. Next are your uh, boilers. Those do not work underwater. Uh, granted, they've got a lot more power and they're uh, a little bit uh, uh, stronger but, you know, they're still pricey. Next are the motor and nuclear. These two both work underwater. Um, motor, granted you're not going to get a lot of speed, but your power is going to be okay. And you'd use those for like a really weak uh, or really tiny submarine. Two or three of those will do quite a bit. And then uh, your nuclear, which is the most expensive and the highest speed um, and more power than you'll need. So, like, two of those on a submarine is overkill. I use one on the uh, USS Colorado, and uh, it does more than I need. So, yeah, here's your ship engines. Uh, I will be back in the next video with the tutorials. So, thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you all 
later.